Hello there, welcome back to my tutorial. This tutorial will work fine for Swift 3 as well. So today I will show you how to create a to-do list app. We will also save our list so that even if user stops the application, our data is stored. We will achieve this feature by using user defaults. So this is the to-do app which I have created. A uh, user can delete the data, user can add more data, and even if, uh, even if the user exits the application, the data still, st still stays there, okay? So let's get started. Here, I have already created a new project. So let's get started by laying out our storyboard. Uh, I will view as iPhone X. And first of all, I'll click on this yellow button and editor embedded navigation controller. I'll just arrange this and a little bit of zoom out. First of all, I'll need a table view for my first view controller. And I will need a bar button. So I'll just put it over here and go to attribute inspector under system item, just select add. And I will throw in one more view controller to perform our add new to do so let's arrange this as well and we will show this uh, new uh, add to do view controller on click of this button so control drag on this view controller and say show and here we need a text field so let's say a text field and a button so for sake of this tutorial i will change the background color to let's say light gray which I like and I'll just adjust this in center full width and I'll place the button over here full width again I'll just increase the size of the display as well and just do some editing so text color will be white and background color will be let's do red so let's say add and for this text field let's center the text and the placeholder will be to do and that's it so for this new view controller we need a swift uh, class file so let's create one so a new file coco touch class and it will be let's say add controller and here it will be subclass of UI view controller and just get rid of this extra stuff and just hit next and create okay it's here and I'll just drag and drop it under my view controller so on the main dot storyboard we will assign a new view controller the new file so under this class inspector I guess identity inspector and start typing the new file we just created so it was add controller and just hit enter don't forget to enter so otherwise it won't work so let's get started by connecting the outlets first i will start with this let's see add view controller and it's here so this will be our text field and for button we need to create an action so add rest and it will be type action type will be UI button and connect and let's do the same for our next uh, our table view view controller so select here and just oh for this we just need table view and that's it so we are done with the outlet and designing part so let's get started with coding so standard editor mode so first of all we will handle user defaults so save the file and we need one more file and it will be a simple swift file hit next and say constants and hit next so under this file first of all let's create a variable so it will be to do list and it will be an array of string it might be an array of strings so if we don't have a list it will be nil we now we will create two functions let's say save data so in this we will pass in a to-do list 
So to do list, and this will be string as well. And we will uh, no return type. And another function will be fetch data. And in this, there will be no parameters, and return type will be string. There might not be any return type, so again this thing. And now we will just save this to our user defaults. User defaults dot standard dot, and we will say set value any for key, okay? And here just pass in our to do list, and for key we will say to do list. And in here we will say if let to do equal to user defaults dot standard dot uh, we need an array so array for key will be to do list this is same as this and we'll uh, downcast it as array of string open brackets and just return this to do else we will return nil okay so we are done with the user defaults part so if you know uh, like every time we start the application we need to fetch data from user defaults and every time we end the application or we go in the background we need to save the data so let's uh, hop over to our app delegate file so if you see this functions this function means that whenever app launches first this function is performed okay so we will fetch the data so we will say if let to do equal to fetch data then our to do list will be to do else to do list will be we will just initialize this with our string array so if uh, if let's assume it's first time you are launching this app then this method will be performed okay and every time we end uh, we like go in background so did enter background or let's say will terminate we have to save the data so we will just say save data and just pass in our to-do list and here as well so save data and to-do list so this to-do list is something we created over here so this is our universal variable okay we call it as constant so i guess uh, just do with do a, just play along with me and you will get to know okay and first we will perform the addition of uh, new to do and we I don't think we will be doing anything under view did load so under add pressed so if let text equal to text field dot text and text field dot text is not equal to empty string then we will add uh, we will just append this to our like to do list okay so to do list dot append and we will just append our text okay i guess uh, this is something Yeah, we can do this. Anyways, uh, and we need to go back to our uh, list, okay? Once we add the data, so we can do that by, let's not go back to our list. Uh, let's just erase the list, okay? So we will say text field dot placeholder equal to add more and save, okay? I guess it works. Initializer for conditional binding must have optional type, not boolean. Okay, we can just do if and say this, and for this it will be to the text field dot text, and that's it. I hope uh, this will work. Believe me. So, yeah, we will downcast it. Cool. So let's save this and hop over to our view controller. So if you don't know how to create table view, you should watch a video on that. So let's uh, first 
get our data source and delegate so table view dot dele uh, delegate comma table view data source uh, where is it table view data source and here we will uh, under view did load we will assign our table view with delegate so delegate equal to delegate oh sorry <laughs> it's self and table view dot data source equal to self and we need two main methods for table view so first one is number of rows so number of rows in section and another one is cell for row at index path so okay cell for row at index path and i guess okay let's do this first so here we will return our to-do list dot count and over here we will uh, first create a cell so and it will be of ui table view cell and use the initializer hit dot and we will choose default and uh, reu reuse identifier will be nil and let's set the text label dot text equal to we will fetch it from our to-do list and we will just okay we will do this under if let to do equal to to-do list then we will say cell dot text label dot text equal to to do and we will pass in index path dot row and now we will just return the cell so cool i guess and here we will do the same thing so if to do equal to to do list if let to do equal to to do list then we will return to do dot count else will return zero uh, let's run the application okay we have two errors so first of all it's to do list what's the problem to do list and another one is this one and yes exclamation mark uh, this one is in the app delegate so under application did enter background so let's run the application and see what happens over here is will let's run the application no more errors cool uh, this is my previous application don't mind so here the app has started so let's add our first to do so done with to do app done with to do app yeah and just say add oh okay oh uh, we need to reload our data and we also need to wipe off this data so let's do that first so let's hop over to our view controller and we need to override one method so which is view will uh, view did appear so did appear and say super dot view did appear say animated and we will just say table view dot reload data and under add controller we will like wipe off the text as well so text field dot text equal to this cool 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 i think uh, because we saved our data i guess there should be our last entry no it's not there let's add one more right now so done with to do add so let's go back and it's here let's add one more let's say yay add let's add two more so one more let's do one more another one so bam we have three so let's turn off this application oh I, i'm like not used to with this like iphone x interface so like click it so my to do app is closed i'll run the application all over again and bam it's there so now we need to delete the data okay so let's do that part 
So under view controller, we need to override one more method. Uh, I'll just add more spaces. So we will say commit, start typing commit, and it will be saying commit editing style. So first we will check if editing style is equal equal to dot delete, then we will delete. So let's say to do list dot remove and at will be index path dot row and we will reload the data. So table view dot reload data and let's run the application for one last time. It's taking so long. So here is our application. Let's delete this one. Oh, I did not even click delete. So delete and let's add one more add 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 and they are here so I'll delete this one delete this one I'll delete this one and I'll close the application and oh okay I'm not used to this interface uh, so there is nothing in the background I'll open it and it's there so that's how you make a to-do app you save the data that's how you make a to-do okay people and uh, so if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos bye bye